Welcome back. Let's dig into the big story of the morning, which is that the New York Stock Exchange has been sold to Deutsche Borsa to create the world's largest exchange. We're going to bring in Hal Scott. He's a Harvard Law professor who served as a governor on the American Stock Exchange. NYSE Euronext, you'll recall, bought the Amex back in 2008. Scott also sits on a blue ribbon commission that's been focused on improving the competitiveness of U.S. capital markets. So thank you so much for joining us, Professor Scott. We've been talking about this deal at being aimed at creating scale and also a way for uh, the exchanges to get into the more profitable derivatives business. But you say that this deal is a reflection of the U.S. losing its competitiveness. I want to find out in what way the U.S. is losing its competitiveness and how this deal reflects that. Well, our Committee on Capital Markets Regulation has been tracking uh, various measures of competitiveness since 2006, and let me just give you three, which I think uh, demonstrate the point. First of all, if you look at the period from 1990 to 2006, the market cap of our exchanges collectively uh, as a percentage of all exchanges was 43 percent. This has now dropped to 31 percent. The uh, share uh, that we had in global IPOs during that period was 29 percent, and it's dropped to 5 percent. And in 2007, when the SEC liberalized rules allowing foreign companies to delist, 7 percent of the listed foreign companies exited the United States. So. I think over a long period of time, our competitiveness uh, in international markets has been decreasing, and this merger is partially a reflection of that. And how much should regulation play a role in that? Well, uh, you know, there are other factors, but regulation does play a role. Um, I, I think we tried to, doc it, do again, document that in 2006. And by the way, I think probably even more important than regulation is our liability system with securities class action. So uh, this has been identified in various surveys of, uh, as probably the number one problem affecting the competitiveness of our markets. All right. In the deal that was just announced, we know that Duncan Edenauer will remain the CEO of the new entity. We don't know what the name of the company will be. And there's been a lot of uh, talk about whether it should be NYSE, Deutsche Borsa or vice versa. Uh, how significant is this discussion? How valuable is that NYSE brand? Well, um, I think that it's very valuable. Uh, I think it should be left to the people who are doing the merger as to what the name of the company should be. Uh, it should not be dictated by pop, uh, politicians. So I think they should decide how important that brand is. The companies, not the politicians. If uh, for some reason regulators don't approve this deal and they, NYSE and Deutsche Börse can't get it done, is it a foregone conclusion that the NYSE needs to team up with somebody in order to survive? Um, I'm not sure that's true. I think this is a particularly attractive merger for them. By the way, I don't see any big regulatory obstacles. I think the major issues were already faced when the New York Stock Exchange merged with Euronext. And basically, what we have is the preservation of national regulation, even in a merged entity. Uh, that's actually not optimal from an international point of view, but it, it makes the uh, particular countries happy. Okay. Uh, the supermarket model did not exactly work in the banking industry. We're going to be creating the world's biggest securities exchange by combining the NYSE and the Deutsche Borsa. Why would it work for exchanges? Well, um, I think there's a, a lot of relationship between uh, derivatives products and equity products and debt products. And uh, indeed, one of the uh, negative features of our regulation here is that we have insisted for, for large part that these products be kept separate. So I think traders, if you ask the traders, would like to be able to trade these products on the same exchange. Mm, okay, cost cutting also, Professor Scott, has been uh, touted as one of the benefits. We saw something in the neighborhood of 300 million euros being floated around last week. How much business would likely leave the U.S. for Europe? Well, I think that's hard to tell. I think one thing to, to think about, however, is we now have this, uh, I think, very capable management team at the New York Stock Exchange, headed by Duncan Niederauer, uh, not having a brief to stop people from using the Deutsche Börse anymore. So um, to the extent that 
the New York Stock Exchange was preserving market share due to the good works of Duncan Niederauer, I think his uh, perspective will now change, and that could lead to an outflow. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for your thoughts. Well, you've been speaking with Professor Hal Scott over at Harvard Law. He is a former governor of the American Stock Exchange.